Hello and welcome to an India Today special broadcast. I'm Gaurav Savant. Our top focus story on this special show is Pakistan cricket in tailspin. And India Today's consultant editor sports Nikhil Nas joins me on this big story. Nikhil, Pakistan cricket in trouble on the issue of Champions Trophy if India says we will not play in Pakistan. At the moment, it does seem like that, Gaurav, because uh, right now you can say it's a stalemate. Both sides aren't budging. India is saying we're not going to be traveling to Pakistan. Pakistan is saying no hybrid model. We're not going to accept it. So at the moment, it seems like a stalemate. But I'm afraid if you look at the dynamics of how the cricketing universe works, going forward, one of them will have to take a step back. And uh, if you look at the cricket dynamics, it would have to be Pakistan or you risk not having the tournament at all. Okay. And what does that mean? What if there is no Champions Trophy, option one. Option two, what if there is no Champions Trophy in Pakistan? Can there be Champions Trophy without India? Can there be Champions Trophy without Pakistan? Can there be a hybrid model that India matches are played either in Sri Lanka or in Sarja? Or can the entire Champions Trophy be taken out of Pakistan and be played as some reports seem to indicate in a third country? We'll track all these developments, but first, this report. The upcoming ICC Champions Trophy appears to be heading into a crisis with both the BCB and the BCCI deciding to play hardball with each other. There are plenty of question marks over the future of the tournament as the two cricketing boards are now logged in a bitter stalemate. Both sides are unwilling to budge. The BCB has reiterated that they will not turn to the hybrid model like the last year's Asia Cup. Our very clear stance is that if there is such a thing and in writing will give us, one of the people who will give us the right to 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 give us the Meanwhile, the BCCI remains headstrong on India not travelling to Pakistan due to security concerns and political tensions. The situation remains unresolved with the PCB asking the ICC for clarification over India's refusal to come to Pakistan. To break the deadlock, here is what the ICC could possibly do. Even though Pakistan were given the hosting rights for the tournament, the ICC could decide to snatch the hosting rights if the PCB is unable to reach an understanding with the BCCI. Option number two could be to go ahead with the tournament, but without the Indian team. Even though for all practical purposes, chances of that happening are less, the ICC could still explore this particular option. And lastly, with just about three months left and still no clarity on the matter, the ICC could go ahead and cancel the 2025 edition of the tournament. At the moment, nobody knows what the future of the tournament is going to be like. But with time running out, a decision will soon have to be made. Sports Bureau, India Today. So let's try and make sense of these latest developments because this is the only story that's absolutely viral across Pakistan. They just can't believe India saying no to the Champions Trophy in Pakistan, and especially after Dr. S. Jai Shankar, India's external affairs minister's visit to Pakistan for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization meet, where he said, I will not talk bilateral. This is a multilateral visit. But Pakistan was hopeful. What gave them hope? Why is it that India is not going to Pakistan? There are many issues and we have the finest voices on the issue joining us on this broadcast. Nikhil Naz joins me in the studio. He's our consultant editor of sports. Also with me is Abdullah Hamid Gul. He's chairman of Tehreek-e Jawan in Pakistan. Uh, someone who's, uh, who's a major fan of the sport and of, uh, you know, has tracked India-Pakistan ties very closely. But Nikhil, to you first, why aren't we going to Pakistan? Well, uh, as we found out at the moment, uh, the Indian government uh, feels, and remember, the BCCI has to take permission from the Ministry of External Affairs before allowing its stream to cross across the border. We've had various other teams in the past uh, of other sports travel after they were greenlit by the MEA. 
This time, the kind of information that we're getting is that there is a, a threat to the Indian team, there is intelligence that they have, that they do not feel safe that the Indian team travels to Pakistan, after which the BCCI had no option but to comply by what the ministry had to say and have informed the ICC that, listen, we cannot allow our team to be traveling there because of the threat perception. We're happy to participate in the tournament so long as you have a hybrid model. A hybrid model. Mr. Gul, why is Pakistan unwilling to even consider the hybrid model? Um, in Asia Cup, uh, the hybrid model was a win-win for all sides. And if the Pakistanis are not safe in Pakistan, if, if the Chinese are not safe in Pakistan, if the Pakistan army is not safe in Pakistan, why should India risk our players? Bismillah Rahman Rahim, thank you very much for inviting me to your show. Well, uh, in my opinion, it is not about all the bashing because uh, I think the same allegations which you have put on Pakistan, that the Pakistan army is not safe or the people, citizens are not safe or the Chinese or others or, you know, are not safe. I think the same is uh, applicable on India too because India is also suffering from all these, uh, you know, uh, things right now. Uh, I can name in detail, but I think uh, this is not the forum and this is not the topic. Uh, in my opinion, well, the hybrid model, why should, uh, you know, the, the model is set by ICC and the ICC is supposed to be the, I think the final authority is going to be the ICC. So let the things to be discussed over there. But uh, in my opinion, Pakistan has made up its mind that uh, like uh, the, the interior minister who is also the, uh, you know, uh, chairman of the board of cricket. So he has clearly uh, said that, you know, the no hybrid model is uh, going to be acceptable by Pakistan. I think uh, the safety and security of the Indian team or any team. I think this is the responsibility of Pakistan. Yes, I do say that, uh, the, uh, you know, some kind, uh, sometimes the incidents do take place and it uh, takes place everywhere in the world. It is, you know, even you Europe... Know, uh, Pakistan, there, there are yes, are... there is. I, I completely agree with you. There is radical Islamist terror uh, in Europe. There is radical Islamic terror um, that the world is facing. India is a victim of that same terror. But when we talk about Pakistan, um, you know... It, it's often seen, and don't take India's word for it. Uh, you know, Madeleine Albright had uh, described Pakistan as the international epicenter of terror. But I don't want to go into history. I want to stay on the current issue. Recently, there was an attack in Pakistan, a terror attack in Pakistan, where Pakistan army soldiers were killed at a railway station. Chinese engineers were killed at an airport. Chinese engineers were killed in the Dasu Dam. So bad, Nikhil, is the situation that the Chinese have told the Pakistanis, you either pull up your socks or we will send our army to protect our people in Pakistan. Um, and Pakistan is very upset about it. Now, Indian army cannot go and protect the Indian team in Pakistan, clearly. Well, you're right, Gaurav, and I, I mean, uh, there is no doubting, as Mr. Hamid said there as well, that uh, it's the responsibility of the host nation uh, to provide security, and I'm sure that Pakistan would want to do that once the Indian team travels, but it's the prerogative then of the country uh, to decide on this, whether it's worth risking sending uh, a team as high profile as the Indian cricket team. Let me give you a few examples. You know, many might quote that, listen, the Indian uh, Davis Cup team went uh, just a few months ago, which is also a national team to Pakistan. Yes. The Indian bridge team has uh, went a few uh, months ago. The Kabaddi team has been going on a regular basis. The blind cricket team went. I understand, but those are not that high profile team, which is to say that India does not want to, uh, you know, participate any bi in any bilateral sort of sporting ties with Pakistan. That stand is pretty clear from the Indian side. However, when it comes to multinational tournaments, in on that occasion, India has said, yes, they have no option but to participate, but not at the cost of any sort of a security hazard when it comes to the team. And that's the differentiation that we have to make here, that other teams may have traveled, but they are not as high profile and the okay. threat perception isn't very high when you uh, talk about them. The Indian players themselves have said, a uh, couple of them have been quoted in Rohit Sharma, Surakumar Yadav saying that we're happy to do whatever, so long as we are told by the BCCI and our government, we'll do whatever they tell us. Okay. Mr. Gul, I want to understand from you, one was the issue of a hybrid model that perhaps could have been a win-win for both. If Pakistan is adopting the stance that we will not play with India at all, uh, but we will not accept a hybrid model, is Pakistan shooting itself in the foot, sir? 
Uh, well, I do not think so because uh, Pakistan is just following the international, you know, standards. I I believe, and uh, like you have said, I will also not go into the details. But na naturally, I need the I reserve the right to respond because if you called about uh, radical Islamization in the West, or you know, uh, whether it is about the Indian citizens, so the same is applicable. You know what you have uh, witnessed in Qatar, where the eight people were hanged, and uh, they were the not hanged, sir. Trudeau, I will. I may, and, and, permit me and, to give you. Facts. You know, and, and, and allow they me, were all sent me, back. The, they were all Trudeau, sent back to India. America, there know, were no charges America against them. I'm only Pant, giving you facts, Guru, sir. Uh, Guru Pant Singh, you know, and then of course, you know, Guru Pant Singh, and then of course, you know, there are a number of incidents, and especially when Mr. Rajnath Singh uh, clearly, after the Guardian story broke, uh, he clearly said that yes, we are, uh, you know, we have killed uh, people in Pakistan, you know, targeting them, targeted killing, and uh, 12, 12 of the people, and then of course, if you talk talk about the, you know, people are not safe. Well, Australians were burnt in the ch churches of India a long time ago. And the so Sanjota one Express, case, and a number of one case, case in the which the accused were tried in a civil court of law. Allow, Hold on, Mr. Gul, permit me to state you know, facts for you. When, when in you that case, to, the commence, accused have, was convicted right and sent to jail and life in prison. No, Mr. Gul, Mr. Gul, no terrorism is permitted on this broadcast. No terrorism is permitted on this broadcast. I must give you facts, sir, because I'm, you're woefully short I'm also on you facts. The facts. The thing is, I'm also giving you the you know, facts. Pakistan is seen as global epicenter of terror, not India. The whole world wants to play well, with India, but that's not, not that's not the case with Pakistan. CIA. Accused CIA are convicted in a court of said, law, you know, are punished you know, in India. RSS but is, hold on, I want to bring in RSS Nikhil once again. Sir, sir, that is the opposition propaganda said. in Any our country, please. but we will let India's opposition talk about RSS and not Pakistanis. But let me bring in Nikhil once again. You know, Pakistan, is it time to show Pakistan its place. Can there be Champions Trophy without Pakistan and can there be Champions Trophy without India? Mr. Gul and his country must be shown a mirror finally. See, uh, Gaurav, I mean, to have a Champions Trophy without both countries will not be an ideal scenario. A Champions Trophy even without Pakistan is not an ideal scenario. Without India also not an ideal scenario. But if you have to look at the reality, uh, the more plausible thing would be to have a Champions Trophy if, if it comes to loggerhead, if it comes to uh, that you have to choose between one country. The ICC clearly would want to have uh, you know, a tournament with India rather than without India. That's because 80% of the cricket economy is run from the Indian markets, whether it's based through uh, you know, broadcasting rights that, that, that are sold for most in Indian market, as well as sponsors. 90% uh, of your sponsors uh, come from India for any trophy. So if you take India out, and, and even Pakistan is to lose for, from that. The, if I just give you some quick figures, in the yes. next three years, the earning for the top boards, uh, I'm looking at, let's say, Australia, uh, England, as well as Pakistan is upwards of 100 million in the next three years. 80% is down to that is because of Indian money. You take India out, if India choose to boycott all ICC tournament, those profits come down from 100 million plus to 25 million. Uh, you know, so, so even for these boards, they'll have to take a hit. And if I was to look at it practically, yes. a decision, because Mr. Nakhvi said that a decision eventually will have to be taken by ICC. What is ICC? It is a, it is a body that is run by your top members, your permanent members. All members end up with this kind of monies in their coffer because of India. Would they vote against a Champions Trophy without India? I don't think so. Could they, are they more likely to vote for a Champions Trophy without Pakistan? That seems to be the more plausible scenario. So, Mr. Gul, if Pakistan were one, either to say that if it's not in Pakistan, we are not playing. If it's not in Pakistan, we are not playing India ever again. Isn't that disadvantage Pakistan entirely? It perhaps could be punished by the ICC. Well, uh, I believe, you know, uh, let's not talk about the punishment because it is too premature to say such thing, you know, because let's see, you know, what happens. But at the same time, you know, we have the, uh, we, we take the responsibility of, you know, their, uh, you know, safety and security. And uh, we have been proven to be a good host, by the way. And uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, inshallah, ta'ala, we have played in the past and we will play in the future. Definitely, it's a hue and cry in Pakistan, so as it in India also, because uh, 
there, there is no doubt about it. There is no iota of, of doubt about it that, you know, Pakistan and Indian nation, both, you know, they want to see their players, uh, you know, playing uh, uh, whether it is in India or it is in Pakistan or, you know, the cricket matches between India and Pakistan, they have always been very sensational matches and they have been always been very, very, you know, popular. So I think the whole of the world, not just the two nations, they want to see those teams play okay. together. And Pakistan, we have, you know, hosted the World Cup also. No, sir, so I, I completely I agree see. with you. On one point, Pakistan are great hosts of people like Daud Ibrahim Kaskar, great hosts of people like Hafiz Mohammad Said, of Masood Azhar. And you, sir, uh, you know, uh, would have personal knowledge, I'm sure, about how uh, these people, including those of Osama bin Laden, who was hosted at Pakistan Military Academy, barely 100 meters from there at Kakul. Uh, you know, outstanding hospitality in Pakistan. I completely agree with you on that account, sir. But I want to once again bring in Nikhil Naz, who has a big smile on his face, but on, uh, purely on facts, Nikhil. Um, let's understand this. If Pakistan makes this a prestige issue, and Pakistan has been known to shoot itself in the foot in the past, if Pakistan were to make this a prestige issue and say, we will not play with India ever again, mm. is Pakistan shooting itself in the foot, sir? Oh, they certainly are. As I explained earlier, the cricket dynamics, and I'm not advocating here that the most uh, powerful or the richest should always get their way. Of course, uh, I think at the moment, uh, both parties are trying to be reasonable. I would include BCCI in that, trying to be reasonable to find a common ground whereby you know they can also protect their team and the tournament can go ahead. But if it comes to push comes to shove and you're in a situation where you'll have to decide one way or the other, uh, Pakistan would be least advised uh, to insist on this tournament uh, not happening because there is a scenario that you could look at having this tournament outside of Pakistan. Let's remember one thing. The Just the India matches or the entire tournament going out of Pakistan? See, because I, that would be revenue loss for Pakistan, isn't it? It would be. In about 100 million is what you can earn from this tournament. Uh, at the moment, if you allow it to be in a hybrid model, the money still comes back to the host country. So, assuming India matches are in UAE, the money, the gate money, the broadcast right money will all go to Pakistan as it happened in Asia Cup. But if you're going to play a hardball and say no, it's either my way or the highway, it happens in Pakistan and if India pull out, then I'm afraid the tournament may be postponed and then maybe a new venue may be sought because of that. Remember, it's an ICC tournament. ICC can pick their host. Okay, so ICC can decide on the host. When it comes to Pakistan, and this is a, this is a question I may be digressing a little uh, from the main issue uh, here, Mr. Gul. In case <laughs> India were to say that uh, India has repeatedly requested Pakistan, urged Pakistan, given Pakistan evidence, uh, whether it's 2611 Mumbai terror attacks or parliament attack or Pulwama attack or Pathan court attack, uh, and in Pathan court, even the Pakistan ISI was permitted to come to the base, evidence and dossiers given. Please take action against the likes of Daud Ibrahim Kaskar or Hafiz Mohammed Said for 2611 and parliament attack, uh, Masood Azhar for uh, Pathan court and parliament attack in Pulwama. Sir, would Pakistan, in the interest of cricket, sports, and better relations and good neighborly relations, take action against these people on the basis of evidence India has provided and investigations carried out by Pakistan's FIA? Well, I believe, you know, you have uh, your uh, points, definitely. And uh, we are a good host of uh, also, you know, the famous terrorist, uh, Kamal Bhushan Yadev. And we hosted uh, a cup of tea for uh, Mr. Abhinandan, too, who lost his plane over here. So, Sir, but again, at the same time, from you know, the issue. Abhinandan was a worry. fighter pilot okay. in an act post Pulwama, he shot down an <laughs> F-16. So clearly, uh, you know, on, on the issue of facts, uh, how can he be equated with the Hafiz Said? And perhaps that is what points out to the fact that how weak a wicket is Pakistan on. And like I always say on facts, Pakistan, because of its support to radical Islamist terror, remains on a rather sticky wicket, a hit wicket yet again here.